Hi guys. And welcome to my demonstration of my 2016 live rig. I have the Solar V 16 ETC. I have the Randall Satan guitar amp and the Fractal Axe 8 pedal. And this rig is the perfect marriage between the analog and the digital world of guitars, in my opinion, where I have the gain, power and distortion of the Randall Satan and uh, the digital effects of the Axe 8. So I can both use effects in front of the amp as well as in the loop, thanks to the rather impossible release of the Axe 8. I'm going to show you how I hook everything up using the four cable method and then I'm going to show you a couple of my sounds. So let's do this! The way I hook everything up is that I start with the guitar. From my guitar I hook up straight into the Axe 8. In the routing options of the Axe 8 this will be where I add a noise gate or a wah pedal that will go in front of the preamplifier of the Satan. And from the effects loop block and effects send output on the Axe 8 I route out that signal and feed it into the amplifier input. This way I'm using the preamplifier distortion and clean channel of the Satan, but with the added effects such as the gate and wah of the Axe 8. Now from the effects loop send of the Satan, I feed the signal back into the Axe 8 loop return. And it would be here that I would put the time based effects like delay. And now from the main output of the Axe 8, I feed the effects loop return of the amp. Now we have a full 4 cable method signal going. I have the option to choose if I want to add effects before or after the preamplifier. Now for this to be able to work, you need to have the amplifier effects loop on at all times. If you shut it off, you shut off a part of the 4 cable signal chain and you will have no sound. You would also need a way to control the channels on the amplifier. This is easy if your amp has MIDI, you just hook up a MIDI cable between your Axe 8 and your amplifier. But a lot of amps do not have MIDI and utilize latch switching or a regular foot switch. You can use any of the four pedal jacks at the back of the Axe 8. You just set them to latching and use a stereo cable and hook it up to the pedal or foot switch input of your amp. In this video I'm using an RGM switcher that I hook up to my Satan and it gets the job done as well. So when I switch scenes on the Axe 8, the Satan will switch to the right channel or engage the kill mode or boost, etc. For my light setup, I'm also using an expression pedal that I will control some parameters with, but I'll talk more about that later. So now that everything is hooked up, let's check out how I route everything on the Axe 8. This is the Axe 8 editor on my Mac and here is my single chain. The way that I built up the presets is that I have basically five different presets that I change through during a full set. Within every preset I have four different scenes. This would be the different types of sounds that I would use in one song. Now you might ask why wouldn't I use four different presets throughout the whole set. Well the thing is that I have the expression pedal set up to do different things in different presets and songs. So the preset is named after which song I would play. And let's start with this one called 99 Trend Killer. On scene 1 I have my main rhythm tone. And the only effects engaged in the single chain of the Axe 8 is the gate. The Satan is set to the distorted channel without any kill mode or boost. <laughs> Okay, now scene 2 is my main lead sound. The scene switches on the kill mode of the Satan adding extra gain and in the Axe 8 I have an added delay. <laughs> Scene 3 is my clean sound. Uh, the scene changes the channel to the clean on the Satan and in the Axe 8 signal chain it engages a chorus before the preamplifier of the Satan and a delay that goes after the preamplifier. Now, in all of my presets, scene 1 to 3 are basically the same. 
it's with the scene 4 that I have the expression pedal set up a bit different for every preset. So in this preset for 99 Trend Killer, on scene 4 in the Axe 8, it will engage a wah block that is controlled by the expression pedal like this. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Now, let me show you a different preset for another song. Let's go with this one. This is one I use for the song All Against All. Now, as I said before, scene 1 to 3 are the same as in the other presets, but the fourth scene in this one has an added pitched harmony using the pitch block of the AX8. It adds a harmony to my lead sound that is suited for the scale of the lead I'm playing in at the moment and in the song. So with my expression pedal, I can control the volume of that extra pitched harmony. pretty amazing, huh? And I have other presets and songs with the added pitch harmony, but in the key of that specific lead of the song and scale, this is for the song Time Will Not Heal. <laughs> So that's my live rig for 2016 for you. I mean, it's awesome to be able to control everything I would want and I mean, the possibilities are just endless with this combo and I'm super happy about it. So that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you didn't, go fuck But this is an updated version with the 5K resolution so I can finally edit my 4K upright video. Uh, this before, I was just guessing how much it was. So, 